There you go again. Alright, I have a finished product. My right on this has taken me uh, two, three weeks. Well, not working on it every day, but yeah, it's first we had to fix the engine as noted in previous things I uh, caught the big end, snapped the push rod. Um, so yeah, I put a new push rod in it, cleaned the crank up with a bit of emery, new rings, gave it a hand, and it all right back together. Yeah. And this time I put a fuel tap in it because that's what caused the initial problem. The fuel cut off didn't cut off and whilst it was sitting it filled the engine up with oil um, with uh, petrol I mean. and even though I drained the petrol out put new oil in it yeah, it still managed to grab the big end and throw it so yeah anyway as in previous videos we've decided to clean it up all this deck here was rusty as there was big tears in the seat um, the lifting mechanism for the cutting deck wasn't working very well so I've done all of that changed it all um, it was throwing belts at first and eventually snapped the belt so we had to buy a new belt which it didn't really matter the other belt been on here for five or so years so. yeah yeah, no pier connection. Really. That pulley there, that's the one that... If I can activate it. Oh, no, it's this one. This one that engages the belt for your cutting blade. Which is on this lever up here. So you just sit in there. I'm going to release it, the tension is put on by the spring, which is up there, so it's tension to belt, but yeah, that pulley, um, the lever that it sits upon was slightly bent, and it wasn't lining up properly with the one next to it, and there's one that's really close to it, which is actually the center cutter, so that was one of the problems. And the other problem is that it was um, hitting it here on this cutting, the edge of this cutting arm when I changed the height of it and that was causing it to come off as well. So you can't actually, you, know, you can't say it. there is a rod, I'll put a rod in there. Yeah. I'll see it at the bottom here, yeah, probably not. Anyway, I'll put a rod in there to stop it hitting this lifting arm. So that, and straightening up the pulley to stop the belt from coming off. And uh, as you can see, it's all covered in grass. I've been out tested it. Um, having a little bit issue with the fine grass. Chops the thick stuff, no problem. But fine grass, it's sort of bending it over. So I think the next thing is to uh, take the blades off and sharpen them. Which is fairly easy in this. Um, I'm showing on the other side because I haven't got the other cover on yet. The other, this other cover still needs a bit of paint. And, um, yeah. You can see in here this is actually slotted. This whole thing turns, so yeah, you just grab that with a big shifter in there. That holds it under you. You bolt from underneath and the blades come off, they're pretty simple. So, anyway, I'm uh, pretty happy with myself. Like, it's not perfect, but yeah, 100% better than what it was. And uh, quite often, as if you've watched any of my videos, some jobs can take a year to complete, some, some things. Yeah, there's there's always some hold up using money or I've got the time or something you know and, and things 
a lot of things just take forever to get finished so yeah this is actually finished now so oh yeah put that cover back on that'll happen today sometime and up here we uh just a bit of fireplace mesh this bracket some slightly uh, it's about one mil i suppose still and uh, yeah just cut that out of one piece of plate and, uh, yeah, made a copy of the uh the underside piece because this had to be changed because i'd shifted the engine over so it no longer met up with the the intake and so here yeah, i made a, i changed that made a copy of it and uh, yeah put it on yeah, it, yeah just clips into this clip here i'll have to add, add all of that a bit too put it on a bit of an angle because it's yeah, because I changed this place. Yeah. 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 Just put clips in. No, it's supposed to. Yeah. It's not a little bit, but it's yeah, all good. So, there we go. And the other thing I had to do is I put some reinforcing on the, the tailplate. I've got a little trailer. Yeah. Well, this here, you should have know this. That's to engage the diff, and that disengages the diff, so you can push it. Uh, yeah, it's my little trailer. It's made out of a, a wheelbarrow with a bit added onto the back. Yeah. No idea what the wheels are off. They could be ride on or something, some sort of eh, ride on or, or um, yeah, some sort of a player thing or something. Yeah, that's a ball joint of Alden. And, uh, yeah, made up a little lever here so that. Should I show you? Pull that lever and it, and it tips. Uh -huh. But yeah, when I first started using that, because the terrain is fairly rough, it, uh, it tipped over and bent up all the toe piece that it hooks onto down here, so yeah, I've reinforced that whole thing. Stop it doing that. Yeah. Yeah. This here was a bit of a pain. These springs, the two bolts that hold that on also hold the deck to the bottom platform. And you can't get a socket in there because the top of the spring curls back through the center. So after undoing them with the ring spanner and a whole lot of hassle putting the Ring spanner through the between the spring down here. I just got the angle on it. Yeah, cut off the piece that hooks into the middle. So I can get a socket on it, make it easy. Yeah. Anyway, as I said, pretty happy with myself. I can uh, got this finished. I'm going to cut my grass now, and then I'm going to put it back in the other shed and. Get back to my Volkswagen or my bike, maybe. Probably the Volkswagen. Uh, yeah. Fingers in the way again. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.